Hello and welcome to the 53rd tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at getters and setters. Getters allow you to retrieve a value usually when the value isn't public but it could be public um, but then sort of the use of getters is questionable and it is common practice not to have any variable public in general for a lot of applications and this is to prevent any misuse accidentally from outside the class and setters will be used to specifically set the data getters and setters are just regular methods really a getter has a return type and that's the same that says that's the return type is the same as the value that you are returning obviously and takes no arguments but obviously you could take arguments you could change it if you want but this is just a general convention of getters and setters has no return type but takes an argument or maybe multiple arguments and does something with it which is what the variable will be set as and you could maybe put a return type but this is just a general convention of getters and setters so let's go ahead and open up our project And what we're going to do first is just implement a really simple class, so class vehicle. And I'm going to do public new vehicle, so let's create a constructor. We're going to create some private variables and they're going to be int speed, int age. And at the moment, we can't get this from outside the class, the speed and age. And so what we're going to do, we're only going to be dealing with the speed, but you could um, modify this at the end and try and do the age as well as a little task. So I'm going to do int get speed. This can be called whatever you want, but obviously general naming convention uh, and general logic is sort of name it what it's doing. So get speed, because it's getting the speed variable. And then we're going to do void set speed, and as you guessed it, this sets the speed. And do int new speed. I don't know if you can hear that. There seems to be some sort of um, somebody's working outside, somebody I think putting up something. But if you can, I'm very sorry about that. But let's just get rid of this piece of code. And what we're going to do. Is actually before we do that we need to actually implement the function so int vehicle get speed and in here we're just going to do return speed then we're going to do void vehicle set speed and in here we'll do speed equals new speed and the next thing that we're going to do is just simply create our objects and do vehicle b and w and if we do std c and w dot get speed std and line run it and we get a error and that is I believe because we haven't set the variable so we need to do bmw dot set Speed and it's going to provide a value of 500. Now we run this. Oh, oh, my bad. Need to implement the constructor vehicle. Even if we don't do anything because we've declared it, we need to implement it ourselves. But now if we run this, we get build succeeding and it's got a value of 500. But if we comment this out a second, we get a value of zero because the speed hasn't been set yet. Well, because it's private, we can't set it explicitly, we use these setters and getters. So this, this is the use of setters and getters. You have to set variables and be a, and to be able to get variables as well. It's just to prevent any misuse outside the object. That's it for this part of this series. In the next part, we're going to be looking at static variables. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.